Rolling. Oh. Me and my brother right here, we just um, cursed this establishment. Psychic readings, um, chakra readings. I saw deceptions that say Eastern religions. Um, that all stems from the fall of the garden. You know what I'm saying? There's one, there's one God, you know what I'm saying? And uh, one Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Um, in the same way Jesus Christ showed his disciples that he could curse the fig tree, that you would no longer produce fruit and no longer produce, produce life. We have the authority in Jesus Christ to curse establishment like that. So they would no longer be able to deceive people, take people's money, not at that, take people's money and deceive them. So it's condemning their soul and their pockets. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So in the name of Jesus, we just curse this establishment and we praying that this is gonna be a testament that this place is gonna be shut down and any other ones that we come across while we out here preaching. In right. Jesus' name. Rose on the third day. Innocent, Innocent blood. blood. For your tainted wicked, wicked blood. blood. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ loves, loves you. you. He came and set you free. Believe, repent, change your mind about the way you've been living and choose Jesus Christ while you still have time. Amen. Time is very short. Amen. We are in the last days. The Bible says in the last days, people will be lovers of themselves rather than lovers of God. Liars, boasters, blasphemers. It's a whole lot of that going on nowadays. Amen. Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. Amen. He wants to redeem it. Believe in Jesus Christ. You shall be saved. This is the warning. The same my brother here to warn you what is coming. Tribulation is coming, and it will be for you if you do not have Jesus. I don't care what walk of life you come from, he can set you free and redeem you. He loves you so much that he died on purpose to account for your wicked blood. He came to set you free and redeem you from bondage. He loves you, and he loves you so much that he died. But the Bible says, he who does not believe the wrath of God abides on him. And you will have your part in the lake of fire. But Jesus Christ came. Praise God. Praise God. The true and living God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Let's give him all the praise, all the glory. Without Jesus, we are nothing. Without Jesus, we can't breathe. Without Jesus, we can't walk. And Jesus is calling everybody back to repentance. He wants a relationship with you. But Jesus cannot have a relationship with you if you are living in sin. God hates sin, but he loves who you are. But if we are to die in our sins, we will go to hell. We will perish for eternity. Everlasting fire, brimstone, torment, separation from God. Eternally. But Jesus Christ wants you to live in peace and harmony with him. And it only comes by him. It doesn't come by any other faith, any other religion any other philosophy, it comes by Jesus Christ alone and this is in the Bible. I speak to your hearts, I speak to your souls, Jesus Christ loves you. And this reminds me of the ark that Noah built when, when God flooded the entire earth because everyone was corrupt. The Lord wants to save you and I pray to God that you are the ark of Jesus Christ. But we need to repent for our sins. In the last days, people are going to be lovers of themselves. They're going to be lovers of pleasures more than they're lovers of God. They're going to be partying, they're going to be doing all these things. Then the Lord is going to come out of the sky. Where are you going? Are you going to go to hell or are you going to go to heaven? speaking to you because I love you. I'm not condemning you. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want you to feel guilty, but I want you to repent, which has two definitions. Change your mind, change your heart, and turn back to Christ. And it also means to turn away from everything that you have and turn to Jesus. Because he is your only savior. He is the truth, he is the way, and he is the life. Carry on, repent. Remember this message. Because if you guys die today, you're gonna to stand before God and he's gonna replace this. Jesus wants to save you from everything in your life that you may be going through. But the Bible says if you reject God, then he will reject you. All of this, do whatever you want and Jesus loves you, that's not the truth. Because Jesus loves you, but he hates your sin. And your sin will send you straight to hell. Everlasting pain, torment, and fire, and brimstone, and separation from God. But that's not what God wants. He wants you to repent. He wants you to change your ways to live how he wants you to live, walk in his way, according to his statutes and everything that comes out of his mouth. And he's speaking to you. You guys are gonna remember this. If anybody died right now, God will replay this moment and say, why didn't you listen to the preacher? The Bible says, how are the people gonna hear without a preacher? If he comes to you, if he ministers to you, 
It's not because I hate you. It's not because I feel some type of way. It's because I want you to repent and have everlasting life. And this is not forced because God gives you free will. And Jesus Christ wants you to live a holy and sanctified life that comes with power and that comes with authority. I used to be someone that was addicted to pornography, addicted to weed, addicted to so many things, especially disrespecting my parents. But God changed my heart, changed who I am, and all those guys are laughing, Jesus still loves you. But you're And the last thing, there's going to be a lot of mockers, there's going to be a lot of people thinking that they're sick, and they're going to learn all these philosophies, and they're not going to come to the truth. The truth isn't the truth. So he has signs isn't the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth, and he speaks to you with power, not from a man-made religion, but with power. And he wants to break every chain off of your life, whether depression, whether anxiety, whatever it is. He loves you. He will teach you in all ways. The Holy Ghost, the Spirit, he will come to you and he will bring all things of your remembrance of Jesus Christ. And he will help you to live a holy and a sanctified life. Because he is the Spirit of truth and he will guide you to everlasting life. Life that won't perish, but life that will be through Jesus Christ. And those who have a carnal mind, they laugh at things like the word of God. But those are the ones that are perishing. The thing is, God doesn't want you to perish. He loves you. Although you're laughing at me, although you're mocking me, he still loves you. Amen. And he has not forgotten about you. Amen. But if you don't repent and you continue to laugh and mock, you will burn in hell. That's the truth. Amen. The unadulterated truth is not going to change. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Jesus Christ, he's the way, he's the truth, and he is the life. Amen. He has come to set you free from the law of sin and the law of death. Jesus has conquered sin. He has conquered death. He has conquered Satan. And he has come to give you life everlastingly. He loves you. He loves your family. He loves everything about you. But he hates sin. Sin will not inherit the kingdom of God. No drunkard. No one who is covetous. No one who is a liar. No one who is a thief. No one who is living in sin will inherit the kingdom of God. Because God's presence. God's kingdom is holy, and his, whole, his, his kingdom is not of this world. The lust of the flesh, the pride of life, the lust of the eyes, the things that we see, the unspiritual and demonic desires that we have as human beings will separate us from God. But once you give your life to God, he will give you a life of peace, he will give you a life of holiness and righteousness, which will come by your faith in Jesus Christ. Not your faith in zodiac signs, not your faith in African religion, not your faith in philosophies from the eastern side of the world, but faith in Jesus Christ. And Jesus, he said the truth will set you free. If you accept the truth, you will be free. But if you reject the truth, you will be condemned. God does not want you to be condemned. He wants you to live a life of power which comes by him and no one else. It does not come from how much money you make at your job. It does not come from how good you look in a physical appearance because your body is going to pass away. And it's either going to go to heaven where it's everlasting peace or it's going to go to hell and you're going to burn up in darkness. That's the truth, but God doesn't want you to burn in darkness. He wants you to repent. He wants you to change your ways. He wants you to change your mind. And he wants you to live a life that is sanctified and holy through him. Not by anybody else. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Many people, they go to church and they think that they're saved, when in reality, they are far from it. Because people profess to know Jesus with their mouths, but they deny him by their works. They deny him by their lifestyle. And Jesus Christ is saying, I told you to be holy as I am holy. This is the time to repent. This is the time to come back. This is the time. It ain't going to come. Anybody can die right now. They can burn in hell. But Christ wants to set you free. This is not what life is. to stay hydrated and refreshed. He comes to break every single chain. Many people are suffering from demons. Many people are suffering from their own flesh. But Christ has come to set them free by the blood of Jesus Christ. And this will only come to those who repent. Those who believe. Miracles, signs, and wonders follow those who believe in Christ. They don't follow those who practice zodiac signs, or practice astrology, or practice anything else. Every other religion that you know of is false, because Christ is the way. He's the truth, and you need a Bible. Hinduism, Buddhism, Muslim, Islam, whatever you want to call it, every religion in the world is false, except for following Jesus Christ, which is not a religion. It's a relationship. And in this relationship, it's supposed to be fruitful. We see in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23, it says the fruit of the Spirit is love, is joy, is peace, is patience, is goodness, is kindness, is meekness, is self-control. And God wants to give you these things. God wants to bless you. Are you tired of living a life of bondage? Are you tired of staying up all night wondering why you are alive? 
God said you were made in his image and after his own likeness and he said that he made you fearfully and wonderfully. And he said that he is the potter and you are the clay, which means that you are the work of God's hands. But you will never ever acknowledge that. You will never tap into that confidence unless you have faith in Jesus Christ. That's where it comes from. And faith comes by hearing the word of God. It comes by reading the Bible. It doesn't come from watching motivational speeches. It doesn't come from reading books on philosophy. It doesn't come from looking into zodiac signs. It doesn't come from Black Lives Matter. It doesn't come from homosexuality. It doesn't come from adultery. It comes from the Bible, which is holy and inspired by God. God breathed and is sharper than a two-edged sword and it will pierce between your soul and your spirit. It will really show you who you are. You think you have an idea of who you are? You have not found out yet until you open the 66 book canon known as the Bible. God wants to help you. God wants to redeem you. He wants to free you. There's generational curses on almost everybody here right now that's not covered by the blood of Jesus. Generational curses of poverty. Generational curses of brokenheartedness. You ever wonder why some people, every time they get in a relationship, they can't stay in it. They can't get married. Maybe there's a generational curse that needs to be broken by the sword of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. He loves you all. He loves every single one of y'all, but he makes sense. But he loves you. Amen. God bless y'all. Y'all beautiful family. Thank you. Amen. Jesus Christ, he's the way, he's the truth, and he is the life. And he loves everyone. In fact, the Bible says if you don't know love, you don't know God because that's who he is. But true love is keeping God's commandments. True love is acknowledging his sovereignty. True love is knowing that every word that comes out of God's mouth is pure and holy. True love is not hooking up on a Friday night. It's not watching. For the sake of the children, I'm not going to say it, but it's not watching adult films. It's reading the word of God and being transformed and renewed in your mind by his spirit, by his word. Once you have a relationship with Christ, you will stop looking for everything else in the world to fulfill you. Because this is the news. Everything in the world is going to pass away. Whether you think it's good or bad, it will not last. But the love of Jesus Christ will abide forever and it will change the way you think, change the way you believe. It will change everything about your life. It will change your family structure. It will change your mood. And you will be a new creature. Meaning everything in your life from the past will be gone, done away with. This is the truth. I love everybody here. That's why I'm sharing the truth. And notice I'm not forcing it on you. I have the best news the world has ever heard of and I'm not forcing it on you. So if you try to force me to take a vaccine that people still die from, what do you think I'm gonna think of that? It's hypocrisy. The news tells you if you love your neighbor, get the vaccine. But I'm telling you, if you love your neighbor, share the gospel. Because not only will they live in the physical realm, but they will live everlastingly, eternally in a supernatural world. Repent. Don't trust in the vaccine. Don't trust in the mask. And I'm not saying to rebel. I'm saying to trust in Jesus Christ. When you're covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you will be condemned. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He has come to set you free from the law of sin and the law of death. Your days of depression are over once you come to the Lord Jesus and once you repent for your sins. Because you can say in your mind, you can say with your mouth that you believe in Jesus, but that means absolutely nothing. Because even demons believe in trouble. You need to repent for your sins and live a life that is holy and sanctified, which will only come by the power of God. Jesus wants to set each and every single one of you free. There's not many of you down here. I, I think I've counted about 11 people down here. But Jesus Christ, he left 99 sheep to go find the one. He loves you so much. And then he has sent his servants down underground to come give you the truth that will lead you to everlasting life. I want you to know that everything that you're looking at right now will perish, it will pass away, it will not remain. But the word of God will abide forever. And he wants to give you eternal life, of peace, happiness, and joy. You will not find it on this earth. You will find depression. You will find sickness. You will find blindness and death, confusion on this planet. But you find Jesus Christ when you have a spiritual mind. And this spiritual mind can only come through him. 
and he wants you to think of things that are above with him, but first you need to even know who he is. Jesus Christ, he is the Lord, he's the King of Kings, he's the Alpha and Omega, and he has come to give you life more abundantly. You all know about demons. Everybody talks about demons. Everybody glorifies demons, even if they don't say they worship them, but they, they glorify demons with their lifestyle. They glorify Satan with their lifestyle. But God is telling you that they will still kill and destroy you. That's all they want to do. But Christ has come to give you life more abundantly. And you, 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 all of you, he has a plan for you. This is not some message from a mere man. This is a message from the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is moving and His anointing will break every demonic yoke in your life, whether that is oppression, whether that's gluttony, whether that's masturbation, whether that's homosexuality, whatever it is, He can break it from you and He can set you free. But you have to believe, you have to have faith. And faith comes by reading the Bible. Start with the book of John. I'm not just going to throw the 66 book handed at you and expect you to know what to read. I'm telling you, start with the Gospel of John, get to know who Jesus Christ is, and he will cleanse you from all of your unrighteousness. He will forgive you if you repent, but if you reject Jesus, he will reject you. And I want you to know now, if you continue to live in sin after this message, he will not hear you. He will ignore you, and the reason that he will ignore your prayers is because of your iniquity. Your iniquity, your sin, will hide his face from you. But if you come to him and you repent and you trust him with all of your heart and not onto your own understanding, you will be saved. You will have the fire of God. You will have the passion of God. You will walk in power and authority. And there will be no sickness, no disease that will be able to stand against the blood of Jesus Christ. He wants to change the way you think. He wants to change the way you behave. Christ is the way and he loves you so much. And there's so much more to life than we see with our physical eyes. God bless you, ladies. He loves you. And he wants to change the way that you think. He wants to change the way that you behave so you can live a life of holiness, power, and authority. Demons will tremble at the presence of God that will live inside of you only if you repent. Huh? And sperm, one out of, I think, trillions or billions is the one that succeeds. That means only one. You think that's an accident? You are not an accident. You have a purpose. You are not purposeless. Jesus Christ called to save you. I'm not here to throw him Be on quiet. you. Because he didn't even force himself on me. I had to choose him, but he changed my life radically. Now I'm out here talking to y'all. I used to be smoking, I used to be drinking, having sex. And he set me free from all of that. Because even after I always did it, smoking and drinking, having sex outside of marriage, I still felt empty. Nothing filled me up until the blood of Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost filled me with his power and his love. He loves you, but he also hates sin. So he commands everybody to repent, which means to change your mind. Unbelief to belief. Sin to, to, to righteousness. Wickedness to holiness. Hop off and hear the gospel. Go, hit him. He commands all people to be accountable for their sin, and he loves you. Amen. Because all God bless you. To repent. Time is very short. You do not have a lot of time left. And you get to choose. That's the beautiful thing about it. You don't have to be forced to do anything. Like this vaccine. You don't got to be forced. Christ came to give you an option. Amen. Tribulation is coming. It's on its way. Biblical prophecy is being uh, fulfilled time and time again. Amen. Jesus Christ loves you, man. Woman, daughter, son, Amen. husband, wife. He loves you. Facts. And his sacrifice is a sign of his love 2,000 years ago. Shoot, the time that we operate on, B.C. and A.D., that's from Jesus, right. <laughs> before Christ. Right. You feel me? Jesus Christ came to set you free, and he loves you. Amen. Choose life while you have life in you, because when you die, it's too late. There's no more choosing when you die. Not at all. He loves you. Believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ and be set free. No heart in your heart. Don't operate in pride. You don't know it all. The Holy Ghost is a teacher. He will teach you. He will guide you in all things according to his word. His word will not return void. His word is true. Amen. And the Bible is alive. Amen. Our scripture is powerful. It will cast every demon and devil that's operating in you out to the pit of hell. Repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Repent, 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 repent. repent, repent. Marcus Street. The only answer. I'm a block.
I know, that's what I'm saying. I just, bro, I put it on, I said Market Street. Yeah. Get it in, bro. This is a perfect spot. Believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ and be saved. It will save you from yourself. It will save you from your sin. Sin means, sin is separation from God. Christ came to restore what was lost in the beginning. Satan told Adam and Eve that they were gods. Ain't that what we hear today in spirituality? We're not gods. We are mere people, a mere creation. And we are lost. This world is lost. Time is very short. The tribulation of the Bible is coming. The mark of the beast is coming. You cannot buy or sell without the mark of the beast. What they're telling you now. You don't got a vaccine, you can't buy or sell. Next is going to be the mark of the beast. And if you take that one, it's really over for you. Repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ and be set free.